Synthetic or steel based? Web or round, wire rope, chain mesh. Slings are an essential part of any lifting and rigging situation, but can be confusing. And this confusion can create an unsafe situation on one of your job sites. So what sling is the right one for the job? Hey, I'm Nate with GME Supply. Welcome to Slings 101. From materials, shapes, and weight ratings to most common uses, we're gonna cover the what's what on slings built for any task. There are five common types of slings found on job sites. They are broken into two main categories, synthetic and steel-based. Let's start with the most common types of slings, synthetic. There are two main types of synthetic slings, web and round. We'll start with the synthetic web sling. Synthetic web slings are flat synthetic lifting products made of webbing material and feature fittings like flat or twisted eyes on each end. Synthetic web slings are inexpensive, lightweight, durable, and strong, as well as flexible, easy to handle, and can adjust to irregular loads while maintaining a secure grip. Because of this, they are the most versatile and widely used multi-purpose lifting slings. Synthetic slings are exceptionally resistant to rot or mildew and are not normally affected by grease or oil. They can also be fabricated with wide load bearing surfaces and are still easy to rig and handle. Most web slings are available in thicknesses from one to four ply and have a capacity from 950 to over 200,000 pounds. Synthetic web slings are broken into two main groups, nylon and polyester. Nylon web slings come in either regular or heavy duty webbing and will stretch approximately 10% at the working load limit. They can also be used in alkaline environments. Nylon slings cannot be used in acidic environments or around any type of bleaching agent. Polyester web slings are the most popular cost effective sling available and come in standard and heavy duty webbing and stretch approximately 7% at the working load limit. These slings can be used in most acidic environments or when bleaching agents are present, but they cannot be used in alkaline conditions. They also are non-sparking, non-conductive, and safe to be used in explosive atmospheres. To improve either nylon or polyester slings durability, wear pads are common to protect against cutting, puncturing, or abrasion. Web slings, either nylon or polyester, are used in nearly every industry and for lifting everything from rocks for landscaping to pipes and beams for skyscrapers. Now let's talk about synthetic round slings. Synthetic round slings are most commonly made of a continuous loop of polyester yarn covered by a double wall tubular polyester jacket and are color coded for easy identification. They are especially useful for lifting tubes, pipes, or materials that could be damaged with other rougher slings. Round slings can be used in chokers, basket, or vertical hitches. Synthetic round slings normally range in body diameters from 5 8 to 3 and 5 8 inches, but custom slings are also common. Synthetic round slings have lifting capacities from 2,600 to over 180,000 pounds. Some of the advantages of round slings are the jacket protects from corrosion, abrasion, and UV degradation, as well as securely gripping the load. The jacket also resists moisture absorption, rot, and mildew, and their low stretch makes them great for lifts with low headroom. Next. We're gonna cover steel-based slings. There are three types of steel-based slings, chain, wire rope, and mesh. This is an alloy chain sling. Alloy chain slings are the most durable of all sling types. They are well suited for extremely heavy or rugged loads, as well as high temperatures that would destroy other types of slings. Alloy chain slings are made up of four parts. Master link, ID tag, sling legs, and lifting attachments. Each of these parts has a few different options depending on their intended use. Like wire rope slings, alloy chain slings can have anywhere from one to four sling legs. Alloy chain slings are easy to inspect, can be repaired by replacing individual links or link segments. After proof testing, they can be recertified to be used in the field. They're also easily adjustable, which can be done by removing links or link segments. Alloy chain slings can be found in 9.30 seconds of an inch to one and a half inches and have a lifting capacity between 3,500 pounds and over 90 tons. While these slings are perfect for the most intense jobs, they are typically more expensive, weigh more, and have a tendency to damage the load. Alloy chain slings are mainly used when other slings are likely to be damaged, like in foundries, steel mills, and heavy machine shops. Up next is the wire rope sling. 
Low cost and ease of use make wire rope slings popular among crews and they excel in lifts where protecting a fragile load is essential. Typical wire rope slings consist of four main parts. Individual wires, multi-wire strands, a fiber or steel core, and lubrication. The individual wires are braided into strands which are then laid around a core in a helical pattern to produce the sling. There are different types of cores, strand patterns, and lays depending on the sling, meaning that many wire rope slings are designed specifically for lifting certain materials or lifting in certain situations. Overall, these slings are more durable than synthetic slings and more cost effective than chain slings. They have the lowest cost per ton of lift of all slings and are known for their strength, ability to bend without distortion, and to hold up against abuse or abrasive wear. If your wire rope sling does get damaged, the master links and hooks can be reused, which helps cut down on replacement costs. Wire rope slings can range from a quarter of an inch to three inches in diameter and have capacities from 1,400 pounds to 153 tons. Traditionally, wire rope slings are used for hot materials, crane or elevator wires, and general construction where loads aren't in danger of being damaged when lifted. And last but not least, the third steel base sling option, wire and chain mesh slings. Every wire and chain mesh sling is made of high tensile carbon alloy or stainless steel wire mesh. They excel in lifting objects that are hot, abrasive, or have sharp edges that would damage other slings. Every steel-based mesh sling is proof tested, certified, and stamped with its capacity and serial number. They are resistant to corrosion or abrasion, and their flexible design with a wide bearing surface can firmly grip irregular loads and be used in basket or choker hitches. Wire mesh slings can be susceptible to crushing damage. If a crack or separation of the wire occurs at the edge or body of the mesh, it fails inspection and needs to be sent in for repair. They are mainly used in machine shops, steel warehouses, and other metal working industries. In order for any sling to be used on a job site, regardless of the type, they are required to have a legible and present safety tag. Any sling without this must be removed from service and replaced. So, which sling is your favorite? What's the heaviest thing you've ever lifted with the sling? Drop your comments below and let us know which slings you prefer and why. If you'd like to discuss which slings are right for your job, give us a call at 800-940-6762 or chat with one of your gear experts at gmesupply.com. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and reach out to us on social media at GME Supply. We'll see you in the next video.